Did you know that birds are one of the most important parts of our ecosystem? Well, why not feed them well during the winter time? In this Quarry Kids activity, we're going to take an orange and we're going to make a bird feeder out of it. And I wanted you to know exactly how to be able to take apart the orange so you can also have a little snack. So let's first start out. We're going to need a couple of oranges. And what I'm going to do, and if you need to ask for help with this, then by all means, please do, is I'm gonna take the stem side of the orange and I'm just gonna cut the top off. Do you see? Setting this aside. And then what I'm going to do is very carefully with my hand on top, I'm going to cut around the outside of the meat, of the orange. Do you see all that wonderful juice that's coming out? Now I don't want to poke all the way through or the bird seed's going to slide out. But look at what I can do now. I can actually just put my finger in there, boop, and out comes the section of the orange. I've already got one that's done here. Do you see how they are nice and hollow now and ready to hold the bird seed? Now the next thing is I wanted to show you because this orange is going to make a nice snack for the birds and a nice snack for you. So look at this. Do you see how you've got all of these sections of the orange? And one of the sweetest parts is that little center section. So what we're going to do is just cut out the little sections and then you can have a snack. Mm. So sweet, so delicious. Now, that's a nice little pause from making our bird feeder, but here's what I want you to do next. We're gonna take a skewer, and very carefully, and notice my hands are all the way on the other side of the orange, is I'm gonna poke through, and I'm gonna kinda wiggle it around a little bit. That way I get a nice big hole. And then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. You should do this about half an inch from the top of the orange, and get a nice hole in there. Now, after that, I'm gonna take a piece of twine, and I like to do this where I make sure that the skewer can kinda of help me thread the, the um, twine into the orange. So I kinda of look inside, and I see where my hole is, and then what I'm going to do is just push that twine through the hole that we've already made. Do you see how I can just push it through? So that then, what I'm gonna end up doing is making a handle so that when I thread that bird feeder up onto a branch outside on the tree, it's got something to hang on to. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to look for that hole that I already punctured. Do you see that? And I'm just gonna push this through the hole that I made. This way, now I have threaded through my twine and I'm gonna end up with our little handle. Ta-da, do you see that? So now it can hold it. Now with that other hole, you can do the exact same thing. So we're gonna push that twine through into that hole we've already made. Go ahead and push it through and then loop it over and you're gonna get just a little, do you almost see like a little handle there? And I'm gonna do the same thing with the one that's directly across from it. And then that way I've got a nice something like a little handle to hold on to when I put it up on that tree. So now we're just gonna take it find that hole that we made. We've got it directly across from there, so it's right there. And then I'm gonna push it through, and I'm gonna end up with, ta-da, this handle that now is gonna tie at the top. And then you know what I have to do next. Tie it there. I'm gonna take my bird seed, and I'm gonna fill it inside. Fill it up, and then I can take it out and hang it on the tree so that the birds can get a nice bite during the winter months. An orange bird feeder that's going to really support the bird populations and give you a nice snack in the afternoon for Quarry Kids.